What's up, you guys? Back on your channel, and uh, welcome to Football Stories. And this is the second video of the day. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to catch the videos. And uh, in the first video, we obviously talked about important things like having one very solid, you know, pro prolific, ninja blooded uh, striker on the brink of joining as Nigerian spy group. And it's no other than uh, Elijah Adibayo, of course, because he's now declared his. Um, allegiance or his joy to actually represent Nigeria as he says that it makes is what will make his mother happy and he is more than willing to do that if you you know if you didn't catch the first video don't forget to you know go back and watch that one it's really very interesting uh, but for this video guys uh, of course more interesting uh, update and uh, let's start with the one that's a little bit of a sad news which is the fact that uh, Awazim you know, has actually been kind of delayed uh, in terms of him going back to his club side, FC Porto. We know that all of all of our players have now been, you know, rushing back to their club sides, obviously to start playing matches because the AFCON has ended and, you know, their club side is going to need their services uh, because they pay them, of course, weekly. So they're going to have to go back. And most of the players have gone back and <clears throat> just many few that has one or two issues. And uh, Awazim is one of those people, and it just right now is that he was actually supposed to, you know, travel back to Porto, Portugal. Um, but, you know, he, he's been down with malaria. All of this, you know, caught in Ivory Coast, just like Osime also caught that uh, stomach virus in Ivory Coast. Um, meanwhile, his teammate, who's also, you know, in the Afghan team for Nigeria, uh, Bruno Onyemechi, uh, the left back has already traveled to uh, FC Porto. So uh, it's remaining uh, Awazim who hasn't traveled. And, uh, but apparently he's been given some kind of extended leave to, uh, you know, to feel better or to get some treatments in Nigeria, of course, to be well enough to travel before, uh, you know, he can join uh, Bruno and the rest of the FC Porto guys in uh, Portugal. Uh, but this is, Obviously, something sad because, uh, you know, it's definitely delaying his, his progress or the time that he's going to integrate with his team and start playing matches. But uh, he's definitely re recuperating. Meanwhile, while he was down but not out, uh, he obviously took advantage of the moment to go out and celebrate Valentine uh, Valentine's Day with his wife. And, and obviously, he's been expected to, uh, of course, make the trip to Porto to join in their project. And of course, uh, let's leave that one and then jump into the next uh, gist, which is uh, a bit very informal. <laughs> Doesn't relate really very much to you know playing football on the pitch, but this one has to do with our guy Victor Boniface, and now he has utterly and completely disgraced, uh, you know, his teammate Onyedika. If you follow these guys, you know that this, the two of them are like five and six; they are friends. Even while they were in camp, while they were playing Afcon, anytime Boniface calls uh, the, the guys to check up on them or FaceTimes the guys, he would always want to ask about Onyedika. He would want them to put Onyedika on, on the call so that they would talk and laugh. He likes to tackle Onyedika very much. So Boniface uh, was actually revealing or posting some kind of you know private information where Onyedika was doing some shopping shopping some underwears for his girlfriend or something like that but he was obviously uh you know shopping some underwears and Boniface actually posted this online on his on the social media i mean this is so embarrassing it, he completely killed the nedica i know these guys are friends but i think this is the last straw this is the limit you can't do this to your brother you can't do this to your friend but Boniface is Boniface has always been like that his he plays too much, uh, you know, he, he jokes too much, he does everything too much. And he also scores too much, that's why we love him. But of course, Boniface has done what he's done and, uh, you know, I'm just leaving that one there. If you have interest, you can comment about it. And then let me go forward and let you know that Michel Alozier, uh, the Super Falcons uh, fullback, is now, you know, is, has been doing some outreaches, uh, of course, reaching out, helping the uh, the young girls that are also coming up in, in the ranks and uh, 
a recent uh, outreach was one that she did in, in Surulere Lady where she spent over a million naira, you know, buying kits, uh, footwear and, uh, uh, you know, and, and boots and all of that for uh, for the girls in, in the community outreach in Surulere. It was nice to see these professionals, of course, uh, doing some outreaches and are actually uh, inspiring and helping or uh, aiding the journey of uh, these young stars coming up in the ranks and aspiring to become like this superstar someday. And uh, we, of course, you know, uh, you know, one of one of my last videos, uh, I mentioned that the Super Falcons are obviously going to uh, start their CAF uh, Olympic qualifiers game, uh, you know. And while them, the coach has uh, released the 21 uh, man list. I did it in the previous video. You can check that one out. Alozia is one of the people that was invited, and she's obviously going to, uh, you know, be excited to partake in that one. And notably, of course, also Alex uh, Plumtree has uh, also been called after missing out for a couple of months. The last time we saw her, I think it's been more than six months, you know. Uh, but it's great to see her back, the Oyibo Nigerian girl. Obviously, very good defender, but what she does uh, is really crazy. She's very good at defending, but she's also very, very good at scoring goals. She hits the ball like Ronaldo, left and right. She hits the head like Prime Ronaldo. She is a talent, so we're just so glad to have her back, you know, being called back in the Super Falcons. And of course, more updates on that one. I'll definitely uh, relate it on this channel. Uh, so uh, the last update for the video, of course, has to do with uh, Mwabali, no, not Mwabali, Mwakali, and it's been a while. I'm not sure I've talked about Mwakali so much on this channel, but uh, this gives me an opportunity to actually talk about him. And uh, even though it's not an update that's related to playing football on the page, but this one has to do with his Valentine's Day celebration. So the young man decided to take himself out, uh, you know, on the Valentine's Day, and of course. Uh, bought himself a new car and just chilled, uh, which is really uh, fantastic because sometimes we underrate this whole uh, me time thing and just kind of neglect it. But uh, of course, it was just uh, the Valentine's Day off and all of that. He's definitely going to return to his club, GD Chavez. They're currently having a really bad spell this season in the uh, Portuguese league. They are, they, they are in like 20th position and they are being threatened by relegation. So, uh, you know, not very happy professionally, I'm sure, for him. But it's definitely going to, you know, travel back to his club site and then put in the work. So I hope this, guys. Thanks for catching this one and great appreciations. Great kudos to all of you who are tuning to Canty Videos, to the subscribers of the channel. Thank you guys so much. And I want to urge you to, uh, you know, help like. Uh, share the channel of course to get across to a lot of people and uh, if you're just tuning in and you're not yet subscribed please do so and uh, welcome to the community thank you guys and have a blast today